And our reporting indicates that the Biden administration is considering counter cyber attacks to stop the ransomware criminals in Russia. How big a factor is the upcoming summit in that decision making? Is there a concern that if you did that before the meeting in Geneva, it could derail the talks? And if it doesn't happen before then, what message does it send to Russia after these multiple cyber intrusions? Well, let me first say that we always reserve the option of responding to behavior or actions that are unacceptable and are harmful. Um, and some of those uh, responses are seen and some of them are unseen. And we typically don't give a timeline on that in a public capacity. Uh, but I will also note to you that when the president, when we announced the invitation to have this discussion, it was also in the same time period where we announced the, in, the uh, sanctions that we were putting in place in response to uh, harmful actions by the Russian government, right, in response to solar winds, in response to uh, their engagement in our own election. So we expect this is, this is diplomacy in action here, right? Uh, we will take action when warranted, uh, sometimes seen, sometimes unseen. We typically don't predict that ahead of time. Uh, and we also will look for areas of opportunity to have a discussion. But we are not having this summit as a reward. We're not having this summit because uh, we expect to only talk about areas where we agree or disagree. And in the president's budget blueprint, there's only about $1.3 billion dedicated to bolstering cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. Given what we've seen over the last few weeks, is that enough? Are there talks that more resources need to be dedicated to this? Or are you thinking more to leave this to the private sector for those companies that we've seen that have been impacted? Yeah, it's a really good question. I mean, I will say that um, we know that the ransomware threat is urgent, um, it's complex, uh, and it's been increasing over the last several years. And you know, it feels new to us over the last couple of weeks, but it has been increasing rapidly around the world over the last several years. Uh, one of the reasons that we have uh, initiated uh, a rapid review internally is uh, because we recognize that threat. Uh, and we will assess based on that review what additional uh, needs there are, both from the federal government uh, in co coordination with Congress or from the private sector. And that review is focused on uh, the disruption of ransomware infrastructure and actors working closely with the private sector, building an international coalition, of course, which will be a focus of the president, will be a topic of discussion, I should say, of the president's foreign trip, uh, expanding cryptocurrency analysis, which we know is a factor given uh, so many of these um, ransomware attacks are, you know, if ransom is paid, which of course we don't recommend and don't advise from the FBI, but it's often done through cryptocurrency channels and reviewing our own policies. So that review is ongoing internally uh, with our national security team and we'll assess what additional needs might be needed. And one last bit of housekeeping. Last month